<laughs> okay, here's the ingredients you're going to need. Three pounds of ground meat. I'm using nil guy today, so I'm going to be adding some baking grease to it. Nil guy's wild game, so I'm increasing that fat content. Going to need some garlic, about a handful of chopped onions, some jalapenos. Now I'm going to dice those. I got some cilantro there. If you don't like cilantro, you could leave it out. Salt, pepper, seasoning blend. Slap your mama's what I prefer. You can use Tony Zachary's or Kai, just plain old cayenne. I got my Cholula hot sauce working. Some Rotel. Now I'm going to drain that and add that. Two cups of rice and about a cup of shrimp, which I'm also going to dice up. Okay, gentlemen. Ease your seat back, open up a cold beverage, because after you get done watching this video, you're going to need a back rub and a cigarette. I had some serious deep fried thinking a couple of days ago, and I came up with something I'm going to call Texas bedroll. Now, I've never made this before, but it's all in my mind. And that might be a dangerous thing. So I already gave you the ingredients, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Okay, at first we need to mix up this meat. Okay, the meat is mixed, so we're going to set that to the side. We're going to start with the rice. Now, it's real important to remember when you cook your rice, cook it dry because it's going to suck up all that juice out of that meat. We're going to add our shrimp. That one's trying to get away. Cilantro, jalapeno, everything on this cutting board is going in this, this rice. Because we're totally going to mix it up. Add your rotel. I drain this. Okay, let's add some garlic. Just a little shot of garlic. A little salt for good measure. Part of that cardio deal. Some Cholula. Yeah. Slap your mama. Of course. some pepper. Now proceed to mix this all together. Now I'm going to add a little bit of meat to the rice to help bind it together. Okay, let's do this. What you want it to look is like a Firestone tire tread on the freeway. Okay, y'all, I don't want you saying anything about me beating my meat. Now, here comes the interesting part. Got the rice. Got to lay down some binder for the rice. I'm already having heart palpitations right here. This is part of my cardio diet. This will put hair on your chest. You ain't gonna see this on Rachel Ray. But that's a thing of nightmares right there. Maybe I ought to call that the cattle tongue. Wow. It's also a mess to make, as you can tell. My wife's gonna be real pleased with me. Okay, gotta rinse this off. I'm having issues. It's like I got fire ants on me. Okay, let's give this a shot. Fighting back. It is fighting back. I think I got it whipped. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, God dang. Now, there's probably a way to keep it from sticking to your cutting board, but I ain't figured that one out yet. And I'm just realizing. My pot is too small, so hold that thought, guys. Hold that thought. Now, that's what we're looking at from one end. Okay, this bedroll 
thought it was going to whoop me, but I came prepared. We got the pots. All right, let's see if we can do this. Up, up, and away. A little of that, just for the hell of it. Yeah. Check this out. Y'all seeing that? That is a Texas bed bedroll. Off to the oven. Okay, y'all, it's going in the oven at 375 for probably a couple of hours, maybe an hour and a half. I got this meat thermometer. It's going to tell me when it's done. You know, the whole big deal with my epiphany, that's my big word for the day, was that this sucker needed to taste like the best gooey arm burger you ever had. You know, when you have one of them hamburgers that's just running down your arm, you know. That's what I wanted, and then I wanted a bunch of shrimp packed in it. You know, everybody throws the bacon in there, but of course I do that cardio thing. Throw in all that bacon grease, which is really where the flavor is, and that's why I move like a greased cat on a hot roof. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's give it an hour or two and see what happens. Okay, gentlemen, this is Deep Fried King's tip of the day. If you're down at deer camp, somebody hands you a glass, you always want to give it a slight blow. Blow them roach legs out of there. Be warned, you start messing around with a bunch of dirty legs and you might get something you really don't want. So always be prepared. Now that's a deep fried king quick tip of the day. We are at the one hour mark. And as you can tell, this sucker's kind of splitting open at the top and all that juicy smell is coming out of there. It's looking good. Well, it kind of popped open on the top because the rice absorbed all that grease. So. Next time I'm going to have to put a little more meat on top. But it's looking pretty darn good, I'm telling you. Okay, y'all couldn't get it out of the pot in one piece, so I just cut it in half and pulled it out that way. It's kind of kind of turning into a goulash looking thing. It wasn't real pretty, but it tastes pretty good, so let's check it out. Let's try this baby out. Mmm. That heat's in there. Taste the seafood, that rice sucked up all that juice, every bit of it. The pot didn't even have enough to make gravy. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. You guys got to try this one. Oh, yeah. Heat's coming on. It didn't, the finished product didn't look all real great. I'm going to have to refine that. Like I said, this is the first time I made this, but that's a Texas bedroll. And that's how we roll over here on the... Deep Fried King Channel. Appreciate y'all watching. Off to the oven. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs>